Hello, you guys. <clears throat> Hello, friends and followers. How are you today? This is the midday energy reading. Um, kind of let you know what may be in store, the pitfalls for the day. Um, this might be um, just what you need to hear. It may not resonate for everyone, but this is just kind of the, what the day's energy is. Um, I am going to add the mag light to the session today. Um, hopefully I've got some good battery life left in that thing. Um, by the way, my name's Tina Beecher. I am a psychic medium. I am an old school biker. Uh, the vocabulary could get a little salty. Um, but if this is the uh, channel that you're following, if you were drawn here for any kind of reason, um, drop down. Make sure you leave that in the comments. Like, subscribe, and please share. All right. Let's see how the flashlight is behaving today. Well, it's not the flashlight. All right. Um, we often use flashlight in paranormal investigations. This is just a simple mag light. Nothing special about it. It's not rigged. It's not, it's not trick. It's just a mag light. Um, shout out to mag light company. Um, I will be giving mag light a big review here very soon. Um, because I, I use a lot of their products. All right. I am going to feel that spirit may have a hold of the light. Okay, Spirit, if you're in the room, and I only call in Divine Guidance, uh, Guardian Angels, thank you, Spirit, for turning the light off. I only call in uh, Divine Beings, Guardian Angels, Ascended Masters, my ancestors. I only allow Beings of the Light in this workspace. All right. Uh, that light may go on or off at any time throughout the reading. Um, it is neither a yes or no. It is just the fact that spirit is uh, connecting to what is being said and trying to help me validate that for you guys. Um, man, I have been doing this for a long, long time. I've incorporated the uh, flashlight about five or six years ago into my readings. And it still gives me goosebumps when it happens. Um, I'm humbled that spirit will work with me so closely. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what the energy is for today. I've got the Queen of Cups, the Magician, the Knight of Wands, and the Five of Wands also. Ooh, can feel like it's going to be a little bit of a combative day. Um, give me a second here. A little warm here in Studio 7. You can see the uh, Five of Wands energy. Um, something's going to aggravate you today. A little bit of... Um, not confrontation. Maybe a little bit of argument. A little debate. Um, but something is going to kind of get under your skin. And it's going to just... Uh, maybe just tick you off. Uh, that person will be... Could be, most likely, a fire sign... Um, we have the, um, Knight of Wands here. You know, the Knight's a younger guy, and you look at him, he's riding in on that flashy horse, um, kind of showing off a little bit too, okay? Uh, this person is some kind of a know-it-all, that somebody may be the one that is getting ready to push your buttons. Um, don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. Um, we are under a Mercury retrograde right now in conjunction or in combined with, um, it's not actually in conjunction. Um, that's a whole different, uh, astrological aspect. Ooh, had to think about that. Um, but it is combined right now with Mars. Mercury and Mars make for kind of a volatile energy. It is heavier, a little denser, but you can overcome that. Um, if you want to, just clear your mindset. Don't don't let don't let shit get to you. You're usually the uh, magician. You usually know how to make things happen. Um, you can kind of pull about. 
what you need to get done in your own way. Um, however, the magician did come up in reverse. And with that, it's like you're really not feeling it. Um, if you've got a task that you need to complete today, you may not get it done on time. You, I'm feeling that you've got just kind of a, a stagnant kind of energy going on. Um, if this is you, be careful that nobody pisses you off and pushes your buttons. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I've got sinuses going on. All right, let's draw a few more cards to clarify. Oh, we got the Queen of Cups, too. I forgot to pull that out. Laying right there on the table. Um, the Queen of Cups energy is... Um, a little more peaceful. A little more easy going. Um, it's a little more of an invitation kind of energy that you feel welcome. Uh, that there's hospitality. Thank you, Spirit, very much. Um, not your turn, girl. You stay down, okay? Um, a lot of hospitality and love with this Queen of Cups energy. Um, she's a pretty cool uh, old chick, okay? Oh, thank you, Spirit. Um, I don't know who that was in reference to, <laughs> but that's there, there it is. Um yeah, it's the, the Queen of Cups seems to be a pretty cool old energy, uh, whether it's male or female, okay? It can, uh, just because it shows up in the card as a queen, it is not gender specific. It is just energy, that um, mothering, nurturing energy that comes through, whether it is male or female. All right, um, let's pull a few more clarification cards. Spirit has been kind of quiet on the light. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things are going to turn around. They always do. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles. And the Knight, or excuse me, the Nine of Wands. Okay. That last card is the Strength card. Um, again, this could be a fire sign that you're dealing with today. The Strength card usually uh, kind of can represent Leo. Um... In this particular case, I want you to see that it is the number eight card in the Major Arcana. She's got the infinity sign over her head. Um, that is significant for, we know what infinity means, um, you know, kind of a life everlasting. And it also means as above, so below. This person that you... And this is maybe your energy. Thank you, Spirit, for acknowledging that. You're coming into your own spiritual awakening. Um, you have been leveling up. That is that Nine of Wands energy. Um, Spirit, are you getting ready to validate that for me? I'm on the right path, though, because I can see it kind of fluctuating and winking at me. Um, the Nine of Wands energy is all about almost there. Um, don't give up now. Uh, you have been persevering. You have been pushing and you're, you're leveling up um, as far as your own spiritual development and your own spiritual growth. Thank you, Spirit. You are ascending. Um, your, your ascension is taking place and that is simply leveling up in your spiritual growth. That's all ascension is. Um, ultimately, we want to hit the... Uh, the highest ascension in our carnations on here on earth. Um, and achieve the highest levels we can get to. Um, but that takes time and life after life after life to obtain that. Uh, we also have the queen of pentacles energy. Uh, you've got somebody coming around that uh, may be wanting to borrow a couple bucks um, and they think you are absolutely the queen of pentacles. They think you shit nickels, okay, so to speak. Uh, I told you that vocabulary could get a little salty. Um, it is difficult for you to become this kinder, newer person. And still be strict with the ones that need it. 
Um, for example, with that person that may come to you asking for money, you're trying to figure out a nice, polite way to say, no, no, I can't do this. Um, I, I won't do this, whatever the reason. It, it's difficult for you to say that. Um, but you, there you are, confident in who you are. Uh, square in your own energy, just absolutely centered and solid. You're not going to let um, this hold you back. Now, let me tell you something about ascension. If you are leveling up as far as your own spirituality, um, in order to do that, we have to learn how to manifest. And manifesting is simply God's gifts, um, Source's gifts, uh, whoever you your terminology is, that are out there in the universe for us. And in order to manifest and, and obtain those things, um, that can be uh, love, can be money, can be career, anything. We have to think higher of ourselves and better of ourselves. We have to continue to heal and grow every day. We just can't uh, think just because we hit our 40s or our 50s or 60s or 70s. I know people in their 80s who are still trying to obtain spiritual growth in the next level before they cross over and transition to the next level. Um, so do it with kindness uh, if you have to reject them. But know this about manifesting. If you give it away, it comes back in return um, many times over. So whoever is asking you for money and for help, um, do so with love. If you cannot, don't put yourself in that position that it, it's going to stretch you um, because you are the queen of cups. Um, you're not put in a corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. You are going to always come out on your feet. Um, and we're going to wrap this up with the final card, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it is going to finish out to be a decent day. Uh, whatever the energy, and this is a 24-hour period from any time you listen to this. Um, you might find this a week from now or a month from now. If it resonates with you, it's meant to. Um, most tarot readings are timeless. Uh, there is no time on the other side. It's liquid. Uh, yesterday's today, today's tomorrow, um, all roll into one. Um, it is now. But the Wheel of Fortune is just basically your overall energy, how you're going to complete your 24-hour period, um, because you are, you are growing. You are gaining strength. Um, you are reaching for better things. Uh, there is so much stuff that it, so much stuff that's going on here that is absolutely um, positive. You're not going to let a uh, few little setbacks during the day hold you back. All right, you guys, um, that is my daily uh, energy read. If you like this, please share it with your friends. And I'm going to close for now. I never say goodbye that I don't wish you guys and bless you with love and light. See you soon.